Hello, hello everyone and welcome to a new grammar lesson and today we are going to talk about prepositions of time in, at, on If you've got any doubts how to use them, don't worry, today we are going to learn it Let's start Let's start with the preposition in We use the preposition in when we talk about times of day, for example in the morning in the afternoon, in the evening. For example, when do you prefer to go to the beach? In the morning or in the evening? In the morning when it's not so hot. We use preposition in with months, for example, in January, in February, in March, in April, in May, in June, in July, in August, in September, in October, in November and in December. For example, what month is your birthday? It's in August. So my birthday is in August. We also use in with seasons of the year. In summer, in winter, in autumn, in spring, for example. When are Easter holidays, they are in spring. We also use preposition in when we're talking about years in 1984, in 2015 or in 2022. So what year were you born? I was born in 2010. So always when we're saying about the year, we need to use the preposition in. We also use preposition in talking about centuries, in 19th century, in 20th century. For example, what century did Shakespeare live? Well, he was born in the 16th century, but he died in the 17th century. The last but not the least, we use the preposition in talking about longer period of time. For example, in the past, in the 90s, in the holidays. For example, I love the music created in the 80s. Now let's talk about the preposition on. We use the preposition on when we talk about days of the week. For example, on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. So what days have you got your tennis classes? I've got my tennis classes twice a week, on Monday and on Wednesday. We use the preposition on when we use days of the week with parts of the day. For example, on Tuesday afternoon, on Saturday morning, on Sunday evening. When is a summer pool party? It's on Friday evening. On Friday evening. We use preposition on talking about the date. For example, on November 22nd. What day does the school year start? The school starts on September 8th. We also use the preposition on talking about special days, for example, on my birthday, on New Year Eve, on Christmas Eve. For example, when did you first meet your boyfriend? I met him on Christmas Eve. Let's have a look at examples when we use the preposition at. So we use the preposition at with time. Clock time, when we're talking about the time, for example, at 4.30 a.m. or at 5 o'clock or at 6 p.m. For example, when is your flight? My flight is at 7.30 a.m. We also use the preposition at when talking about festivals, for example, at Christmas, at Easter. Have you got holidays at Christmas? Yes, I've got two weeks off at Christmas. When there are rules, there are exceptions. So here we've got two exceptions at night and at the weekend. As you remember, with the times of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, we use the preposition in. Except 
night with the word night we use at night and we use at the weekend as remember we use preposition on when talking about days of the week but when we're talking about the weekend we use a preposition at at the weekend for example have you got any plans at the weekend yes i have if the weather is good I will go to the beach, but if it rains, I will go to the cinema. And at night, I'm planning to go out dancing. What about you? Have you got any plans at the weekend? And now let's have some practice. I've got a special quiz for you. Prepositions of time quiz. Are you ready? Let's start. The task number one. It's sunny and hot summer what preposition will you choose in at or on it's season so with seasons we use the preposition in task number one well done task number two i've got a dentist appointment wednesday morning on in at with days of the weeks we use preposition on good job task number three i want to go to the cinema a movie starts 5 30. would you like to come on at in here we're talking about clock time it will be at well done task number four when is your birthday it's december 22nd in at on here we're talking about the date so it will be the preposition on Excellent. And the last one, task number five. What year were the last Olympic Games? The last Olympic Games were 2021. In, on, at. With years, we use the preposition in. Good job! Excellent! You are a star, you can try again. This is the end of our video and I invite you to write your own examples in the comment box and if you've got any questions, any doubts, send me a message. This is Teacher Alice and see you next time. Bye bye for now.